Today we're going to be looking at a new credit score platform that is supposed to shoot your credit score way back up into the preferred credit zones as long as you follow their steps. It's a super simple platform that's very easy to use. We're going to be looking at exactly how it works, what makes it so different from all these other traditional credit building platforms, and more importantly, why it can help improve your credit score at such a rapid rate. Also look at the ease of use, of course, if it's a difficult platform to use, then why are you going to want to use it to build your credit score? Building credit is already hard enough by itself, and we definitely don't want some platform that's going to have to use any special tools or require a ton of user input. And we're also going to be looking at the fee and security features to make sure that you are getting the best value for your money. There's a couple different programs that you can get access to through Stellarfy. I'm going to be going through those in detail to see which one is probably going to be the most beneficial for you to make sure that you get all those essential credit building features but you don't have to spend an excess amount of money in order to achieve that. Now, of course, Stellarfy is a platform that is going to be compatible with other systems such as Credit Karma. As you know, Credit Karma has a long-standing history of helping people build their credit score no matter what's happened to them in the past or what their current score is at. Be sure to check out and get set up with that system with the link I have in the description. The combination of both of these platforms is definitely something that is going to help a lot of you raise your credit scores in a relatively short time period. Now, of course, the first thing that we are going to want to look at when we are evaluating these credit score platforms is I want to see why Stellarfy is setting itself apart from the crowd. Now, traditionally, there's been a ton of different ways, all pretty standard, of ways to help people with low or poor credit be able to improve their credit scores. Now, traditionally, these methods have been pretty plain, pretty standard, and definitely not something that have been very helpful in the long term for a lot of consumers. One of the most common ways that people generally suggest is getting a co-signer on a credit card or a secured credit card, and this allows you to slowly build back your credit by making payments. Of course, another way is to use an online tool, and while these are definitely useful, they do not go far enough in reporting your credit score to make any meaningful impact over a longer time horizon, but Stellarfy is claiming to change that. They effectively take over 80% of your total credit portfolio and then using the 80% of this credit portfolio, they're able to report all that critical information to all of the big three credit bureaus. And on the surface here, this looks like a system that is going to be very useful as it is taking access of almost your entire credit portfolio. And this, of course, is something that a lot of these other systems have been attempting to do, albeit they've never had direct access and they've had to do it slower. So that's why I think Stellarfy may have the potential to take your credit score to a super high level in a significantly shorter time period than what you would get with these other financial systems. Now, the major way that Stellarfy is going to attempt to take over 80% of your portfolio is they're actually going to guarantee that you're able to pay all of your bills and expenses on time. Now, the way they're going to do that is not by forcing you, of course. They're going to give you a credit extension so that you can make sure you have the money that you need in order to pay off those bills. So what happens is that when these bills do come in, Stellarfy is going to lend you that money out to make sure that all of your bills are covered and then you simply just pay them back with 0% interest. Now, one additional benefit of Stellarfy that I like over a lot of these other traditional credit building methods is that they are not only going to help you increase your credit score, but they're going to also help you manage credit goals. And essentially what these credit goals are are going to be checkpoints that you set up in your credit building. Now, the most traditional types of credit goals that are going to be out there are, of course, going to be related to a mortgage. Now, naturally, almost everyone wants to be able to buy a house, but unfortunately, in order to get one of those home loans, you do have to have a pretty substantial credit score. As the interest rates on these continue to climb, it becomes even more difficult to secure one of these loans if you are someone that's on the lower credit side. So the benefit of Stellarfy here is that they're also going to help you build your credit score in specific ways, and this is going to allow you to maximize your chance of increasing that goal, for instance, of buying a home. Now, I use this home buying example for a very specific reason, and that's because on the Stellarfy app, they're actually going to help you go through the whole mortgage lending process if that is one of your goals. So as an additional benefit, you're not only going to have someone that helps direct you on your credit score path, but in addition to this, when it comes time to actually executing that goal once you've achieved it, Stellarfy is going to have your back in that process as well, helping navigate you through the entire mortgage process. Now, if all of these benefits of Stellarfy are looking attractive to you, we are going to need to take a look at the three different tiers of offering that they are currently offering. Unfortunately, Stellarfy is a paid platform, unlike some of those other credit building systems. However, I do think as a general rule, this system is probably worth it. Given all the features, especially the credit building system that they have built in, are definitely going to make it worth the price that they are asking. 
Now, as it sits, there is three different tiers that are all offering great options. Of course, the more expensive tiers are going to have more features. However, I'm not quite sure that all these are going to be necessary for the general audience here. So with that said, I'm going to try to indicate which one of these three programs I think is going to be best suited for the general audience that is watching this video. Now, the lowest tier is going to come in at $5 a month, and this is going to limit you to a cash advance of only $500. So as we've seen in the way that this system executes, you're going to submit your bills and then they are going to lend you that cash for them. However, with the lowest tier system here, you're only going to be able to submit up to $500 worth of bills in order to get that credit forwarded. Now, for the vast majority of people, this is probably going to cover a lot of standard bills such as utilities, maybe even some car insurances. But I doubt that this is going to be able to cover the expenses related towards renter or mortgages. And as a result of that, this system is lacking, or at least I'm a little bit disappointed in the amount of money that you can get lended here. $500 a month in cash advance definitely doesn't seem like it's going to be something that is going to be beneficial for the vast majority of people that are watching this. However, if we move up to the next tier, which is going to come in at $10 a month, this makes a significant jump in the amount of credit that you are going to be lended forward fact, it goes all the way up to $25,000. This is a huge jump from what we we're getting with the $5 a month plan. And unfortunately, there is no system in between either one of these as $500 to $25,000 is definitely a significant jump. And I think it's very clear that Stellarfy wants you to go with the $10 a month option as you're really not going to be able to do much with that $5 a month plan. However, $25,000 a month should definitely cover basically everyone's expenses. It's definitely not something that you need. I think if it was situated at about this $5,000 mark, everyone would definitely be able to cover all of the essentials, such as rent, car insurance, car payments, as well as all the utilities and the additional accessories that are sometimes associated with these. However, $25,000 a month seems almost completely unnecessary, and it doesn't even stop there as there is a higher tier coming in at $15 per month. And this one still does maintain that total credit forwarding cap at $25,000. However, it does introduce a good variety of features that you are not going to get with the other two previous systems. Most importantly here, you're going to get an ACH credit transfer. In addition to this, you're also going to be able to input bill payment dates as well as provide some credit lock services. So when you spring for the $15 a month credit option, you're going to get a ton of credit security check features. Some of them are going to include ID theft insurance and social security insurance checks, as well as active credit credit monitoring and these are unfortunately systems that you're not going to get with the other two tiers so really the only difference between the five dollar month and the ten dollar month systems here is going to be the amount of money that you get forwarded now personally i don't think that either of these systems are really going to be that useful i really think that you're going to need to get the 15 dollar a month option if you really want to maximize the potential that you can get out of stellar five now i do have some complaints with this naturally as it's at 15 dollars per month and that does seem like it is a pretty extravagant amount for what they are offering However, this is definitely one of those systems that is going to help someone build their credit score pretty quickly. And it definitely has all of the credentials and systems in place to make this very easy to use. However, the cheaper options definitely don't give you any of the essentials that you're really going to want when it comes to building your credit. I mean, one of the hassles for me when it comes to building credit, I think, is being able to maximize it all under one system. And while the two lower tiers definitely have the ability to help raise your credit score, you're going to have to do a lot more active day-to-day -day management as you're not able to get advances on the cash for as much. You're also not able to have flexible bill paying dates. So this is something that I see is going to create a good amount of hassle. And generally that hassle doesn't correlate to helping you improve your credit score all that much. So I think if you really do want to maximize your chances of increasing your credit score with a system like Stellarfy, you are going to have to extend to this $15 a month option. Now, regardless of what option you choose, fortunately, all three of these do look to be very secure as they do have all of the proper security clearances as well as the encryption needed to make sure that your bank details as well as all of your bill systems and your credit transaction history are all secured. So you're definitely not going to have to worry about identity theft. It's just with the $15 a month plan, you are going to have even more additional security on top of that. Now, if you are interested in Stellarfy, you can go on their website and sign up right now. If you've used Stellarfy in the past, definitely tell me what you think of it and what option plan you are using. I personally lean towards the $15 a month, as I noted, but if you've gotten some great mileage out of any of the other two tiers, then definitely let me know down in the comments below. And with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one.